Good morning. Welcome to the first ever eSports tournament here at the Sondheim. For those of you that don't know him, this is Walter Day, the father of esports. In 1982, he opened Twin Galaxies. 1982, correct? 1981. Oh, opened Twin Galaxies in Atomwa 1981. 1982, there was a photo shoot that put several people on the map, and Walter started take, keeping track of world records on video games and things like that, and they became the authority. He worked with Guinness to judge attempts at the world records and things, and it is still going. And um, he's been recognized from Guinness and from Fairfield as the father of eSports. So here to say a word or two for you and to also let you know what our first place winner will be getting is Walter Day. Thank you, I'm honored, I'm honored. So all that stuff is in the past, and I want to talk about what's going to happen now and in the future. You know, uh, you may not realize that, but under John Grunewald's leadership, and with his staff over at Fairfield High School, Fairfield High School is fast becoming a nationally recognized esports, uh, you know, administrative hub that's doing important things in the esports field that's benefiting high schools all over the region and soon, most likely, all over the nation, too. So many of you have seen the trading cards that are now available uh, that have been honoring people for their eSports accomplishments. Well, those trading cards are going to be given out to people who are contest winners, who are part of the system set up by John and his staff here at Fairfield, at Fairfield High School. And uh, the winners today will be honored on trading cards. So get ready for that. You're going to become famous just like the baseball players and football players, you too will have your own trading card you can autograph and, uh, and, and, and you know, establish your own legacy. So, and when I speak today, I speak on half of uh, the Walter Day collection, which authorizes these trading cards and completely supports John and his activities. In fact, we made it very clear, not only directly to him, but to other, other, other entities elsewhere, that to get on these eSports trading cards, you have to exclusively work through John in a system so that it's his system that'll authorize who appears on a trading card. And then my organization just supplies and designs the trading cards as essentially a free gift to the community, to the eSports culture. So that's one important thing to realize. And so I speak on behalf of the trading card set. And I also speak on behalf of the International Video Game Hall of Fame uh, which is based in Ottumwa, and they are tremendous supporters of all the initiatives that are being put into place by John and his staff over at Fairfield High School. 
and uh, they're working on ideas now how winners and people who have made tremendous accomplishments in the esports field through John's organization are honored somehow in some way in the Hall of Fame. So that's my story, and I'm really pleased to see all the people turning out here for this. And be aware that this is only the beginning, that next year is going to be really, really big. And I can see Solomon, who's the organizer of this, putting on some tremendous shows that become must events for people in the esports field. They'll have, they'll have Fairfield marked off on their calendar every year to come and be part of this incredible things that are staged here at the Sondheim Center. So thank you very much. And now, game on. Okay. Hello, everybody. We have commentary live now. So we've got Mr. Turtle on the cloud versus Endeavor X on Steve, it looks like. Good up smash from Endeavor, closing out that first stock. A couple jab back airs. Steve just putting on damage with the fast moves from the gold items. A couple jabs coming out from Mr. Turtle. Finding that dash attack, but not quite going to close out the stock here. Trying to shark underneath of Steve, but no platforms makes it difficult. Steve having that anvil to get down pretty safely. Steve setting up a block, but not going to do anything too crazy. Really. Finding that F smash, closing out the second stock. Mr. Turtle answering right back. Completely even game. Steve has diamonds now. Going to be putting out a lot of damage. Going to be able to kill very early. 40% off of just a couple moves here. Turtle trying to find that cross slash with limit, but not going to land it. That's 80%. 100. Steve going to be able to close out this stock very quickly here. Turtle trying to co come back onto stage. But Manages to sneak underneath the Steve, find the F smash. Gonna start bringing this game back here. Limit forward air. And that's a down smash from Steve, putting Cloud off stage once again, giving Steve time to set up this TNT. The up smash, actually staying out long enough to close out that first stock. And that is game one for Endeavor X. Staying on Final Destination for Game 2. No character switches. Got Steve versus Cloud once again here. Game 2. Three, two one, go! Definitely a very interesting matchup. Steve wanting to stay pretty far away and make sure that he can keep mining. Whereas Cloud just wants to apply pressure with those back airs. But a great spike coming out. Tries to block off the recovery from Mr. Turtle, but able to make it around. bit of a scuffle there, but Endeavor X coming out on top. Good up smash attempt coming out from Turtle, but not able to close it out. Finds the down smash to put Steve off stage. Goes for the F smash, covering the minecart. Good back air. Not quite going to close out the stock, though, even with the stone. He's going to go up to iron here. Trying to close out this stock. Finds the F smash. Definitely going to kill at 150 with iron. Steve just playing that long game, trying to find those resources. Whereas Mr. Turtle just trying to get in, trying to find a way to approach. Finds the F smash, but good shield from Endeavor. And Endeavor just kind of forcing Mr. Turtle to approach here. And Mr. Turtle trying to find his way in. Goes for the up smash, but not going to find anything too crazy. And a great combo into up smash from Endeavor, but it's not quite going to close out the stock thanks to the limit. Goes for a Hail Mary. And there's the F smash from Steve. Still not going to close out that stock, though. And that is diamonds online for Steve whenever he wants it. Steve just keeping stage control right now. Up smash, but gets the back hit. Not going to kill. Down air not going to take the stock either. 
finding that limit cross slash, finally closing out that first stock, but this is a huge lead for Endeavor right now. Has Diamond online, another Diamond in the back as well. So there is guaranteed Diamond on both stocks here for Endeavor right now. Definitely a large hill for Mr. Turtle to climb. Goes for an early advantage state with the F-Smash, but shielded by Endeavor. Getting a good punish, 93%, and that F-Smash not quite going to kill because of the limit, boosting the weight on Cloud. Finds that back air, still not quite going to close out that stock. Up-Smash lingering, but not going to hit. And that is an unfortunate SD for Mr. Turtle. Game 2 going to Endeavor X once again. Moving on to game three in our best of five here, going down to Smashville. For Mr. Turtle to win this set, he's going to need to reverse 3-0, win three games in a row. Smashville definitely a good counter pick though, taking away some of that space from Steve, but starting off with the minecart getting 40%. And the pressure is definitely on for Mr. Turtle right now. Finds that up smash out of shield. That cross slash almost broke shield, but not quite going to get there. Endeavor X definitely going to have to be careful with the shield for a bit. But able to put Turtle off stage. Up tilt, not going to find anything too crazy. Dash attack on shield rolls into the up smash. That up smash stays out for so long. Definitely a tough position for Mr. Turtle right now. That forward air not going to spike, but the block actually ends up taking that stock from Mr. Turtle very early, unfortunately. Cloud's recovery is not great in this matchup. It can be blocked off by Steve pretty easily definitely make things rough with that up smash almost closing out that stock. Steve gonna go all the way under the stage because Steve definitely can. One of Steve's strengths on this stage and that dash attack still not gonna take that stock. Steve living to 130. And we are just going to see percentage building up here for Endeavor. Jab forward air. The gold tools also are faster than the others, so it is very difficult to approach Steve whenever he has gold items. 80% here, and just builds and goes for the spike. Great way to close out the game. 3 stock, 3 0 for Endeavor X. All right, now we're finally back to our winner's bracket. It is Venom versus... It's, it's Venom versus the... <laughs> Just as being a child. Painful. All right. substantial amount. This one. I'm loud. Yeah. What? Test, test. Oh, that's uh, substantially better. Maybe a little bit up. A tad. Uh, uh, yeah. How's that sound? Good, bad? Uh, 
Sound good? That sound good out there? To winners finals here we have venom versus painful Three, two, one, go. got a bit of a zoning matchup here starting off with some taunts i do know these players have played against each other an awful lot apparently at the last tournament they were knocked out by each other i think you said interesting so yeah we're gonna see a lot of snake running around setting these traps trying to get them in the right position for toon link to run into them meanwhile toon link is actually approaching right now not something you typically see of the character but definitely has the option to go for it i think they're trying to beat toon link can get too close running in with that up tilt that up tilt almost killing at such a low percent toon link is pretty light Toon Link has bombs of his own, one of the greatest kill confirm options for the character. I'll be hitting that bomb. Both players just sitting in shield there, neither wanting to commit. Oh, Toon Link. Both characters at kill percentages at this point. We'll see if we go for any bomb confirms here. Just setting up the up smashes to cover the platform. And taking the stock with the F tilt. And Snake already racking up 44% here. Using those bombs, but a great up tilt up air coming out from Toon Link here. I'm very sorry, it's a personal vendetta against mine. It's very hard to be excited watching a Snake play. Good down air out of shield there. <laughs> Goes for the roll read with the up tilt. Probably would close out the stock against Toon Link. Ooh, nice C4 closing out that stock, though. Doesn't matter where you are on the stage. If you're where Snake has set up traps, you are in danger. Snake damages themselves with the bomb. Trying to catch Snake on that platform with the forward air, but painful not quite able to get there. Gonna try to juggle this bomb, get something started here. Jab one into F tilt. Up tilt goes here. Nice back air coming out from Painful. Evening up the stocks, but the percentage is not quite there yet. I think Toon Link's gonna have a lot harder of a time approaching here now. Especially with such a high stock, almost any move a Snake will kill. Yeah, being forced to approach Snake is never fun. But both of these characters are not fun to approach. Good ledge trap, down throw into the up smash. Great confirm for Venom here, taking the first game.
All right, come in here and hear the game two. Three, two, one, go! And we've seen Toon Link just dashing in here. Wants to get in close, get things started as soon as possible. A nice Zare into dash attack, picking up the grenade, putting on a bit of pressure there. I think just trying to keep the distance. Mm. Yep, good up throw. Snake had the bomb in hand, so that didn't help him either. And that's a good back air, setting up this edge guard. Ooh. Very nice F smash, closing out that stock. Very quickly, but almost an SD. Able to recover though. Toon Link definitely just keeping the pressure on, not trying to give Snake any way of, you know, also having to watch out for all these traps that Snake is setting. Yeah, Toon Link doing a very good job playing around Snake's shield with those grenades in hand, but Snake finding that up tilt to close out that stock, evening the game up pretty quickly. Snake basically just not, not allowing one of those ledges to be used now by Toon Link. The shield looking real small for Toon Link here, gotta be careful with that. Nice stage control from Toon Link here. Good parry. Toon Link really just staying center stage, not wanting to get close to the ledge, knows it's a dangerous place to be, and it also restricts the area that Snake can set these bombs up. Forcing Snake to approach, which is not something Snake is great at. He also restricts Snake's movement so that his explosions hit himself. Parry, but the grab is the wrong way. Great up air, setting up this juggle situation, and closes it out with another one. Painful up a stock this game. As you say it, you have Caster answered Curse is right real. Back. <laughs> answered with the Nikita. Now we see Painful trying to uh, hop through this minefield. Snake is 100% willing to take trades where both players get hit by grenades in this matchup due to how much heavier he is. He can afford the percentage much more than Toon Link can. And the mine on the top platform, you think that Toon Link can't land there if he gets thrown up. There we see the bomb, frame one. Great option to get out of this pressure. Sets up the C4 on the platform. Juggling the grenade. C4 exploded, but Toon Link is too short for it to hit. Toon Link fails the shield there, just missed time on the grenade. Backs up the percentage even more. Yep, Toon Link definitely at kill percent for Snake here. Any percent is kill percent for Snake. This is true. Ooh. Yeah, boomerang into forward air. Blows himself up with the bomb, though. Has to get off the ledge now. Tries to roll through the up Ooh. smash, but not going to make it all the way through. Definitely a nice last-minute clutch there from Snake. Toon yep. Link almost had it, but I just think Snake is just... All, all the grenades that was, Toon Link was getting hit by really makes it so much harder for anything to really happen. It adds up quick, and it's also a great escape option for Snake. That is 2-0 for Venom right now. We'll see where we're going for game three. Yeah. I, you know, I think I know why that game was lost. He skipped right over Cynthia's theme. That's the big thing, Cynthia's theme. Most important part of stage select. Exactly, he gets it, he gets it. There is a right answer. That's not it. Seen the exact same characters. No need for counterpicking here, it seems. Immediately running off with the Zare there, trying to catch Snake running towards the Toon Link. A lot of pressure on this Toon Link here. He has to win all the next three games to be able to 
go to grand finals or win in losers. Starting to see some good play with snakes bombs here from the Toon Link. Line up there on the platform hitting the Toon Link. Oh, that's a sticky on Toon Link. Percentages evened right back up after that dominating start from Painful. Excellent low recovery, avoiding that Nikita, but still gets grabbed down throw into the up smash coming down. I've seen that happen twice, and it tilts me even the second time. <laughs> it's definitely a strong way to take stock. Snake has a lot of solid ways, but an SD coming out from Venom here. Some good movement coming out with these B reverses. Setting up these C4s, just jumping over Toon Link. Toon Link doesn't have great control of the air, which makes this matchup pretty difficult. Great grab catching that dash attack with. Snake stuck on the ledge here. Painful playing for his center stage once again. Trying to force Snake to take some damage from his own grenades here. Toon Link is in kill percent, so he's having a very hard time approaching the Snake. But a great way to get in there, confirming off of Snake's ball. Fishing for that kill now, both players here. Both characters have pretty good kill power. Goes for a bomb confirm, but throws it at the shield and gets hit by his own grenade. Good juggle with the bomb on shield there. Little B reverse action with the arrow, trying to get some movement going. Basically any move kills now, and we see the up air taking that stock. And Toon Link is just killed right after. Yep, nice F tilt closing out that stock. Completely even game here. Just running in with that up smash. All the grenades on this side of the stage have blown up at this point. Oh, I believe that sticky landed on Toon Link. Nope, it's on the ground. Close himself up with the C4. Sets up more C4 on the platform. Shield pressure. Both people definitely getting in the kill range for each other. Painful's putting in the work right now. Snake answering right back. Good Zare out of pressure. That was some nice movement from Painful. That forward air not quite going to close out that stock, though. The bomb's still on stage, is hitting Toon Link, racking up that percentage. He's very low. One, one or two more moves from Snake, and he might just die. Yeah, this is now Max Rage on Snake, but that up B closing out that stock, and that is 2-1 nice. for Venom, but... Painful taking that first game. Toon Link answers back with the game three. into game four. Will we see the reverse 3-0 from Painful? Three, Going two, to Hollow Bastion one, for game four. Go. I don't know this song, so I can't judge it. Getting a bit more space for Snake to run around and set up these traps. However, I don't believe the C4 will hit Toon Link under the platform, even on this stage. Snake's just happy to take all these fights where they're both getting hit by grenades because he's like, like was said earlier, he's just so much heavier. Yep, every trade is in favor of Snake in this matchup. Painful's boomerang actually hitting a grenade and making it blow up in his face there, unfortunately. Painful no kill range for the Snake. Trying to find a safe way to approach here. Taking an extra 20% because of it, though. 
trying to find a chance to land this bomb, but great C4 activation from Venom. Up tilt up air, another up air. Landing down air. And there's the up air to close out the stock. Completely even game once again. They're going on kind of the aggressive, just trying to again, wreck the percentage on this two link. Nice landing back air and just retreating. Down throw because he knows Toon Link is holding that grenade. Toon Link didn't get hit by that. He has mistimed it a little bit. Another bomb trade. Venom is doing a great job of racking up this percentage early. And then Painful playing very carefully to help bring back this game. Nice. Ooh, good from Link. Yeah, nice bomb confirmed. And an SD with the Nikita coming out from Venom, unfortunately. Link might be able to get the reverse sweep here. There's no bombs there, so does not get hit by it. Doom Link goes up. Oh, gets hit by the... Up smash trap yep. at the ledge. Very difficult to work around sometimes. Snake getting hit by his own bomb. Oh, down throw into the bomb. Going for a C4 setup with that down throw, but not going to be able to find it. Doom Link is definitely really low. One more hit, I'm pretty sure he just dies. Yep, uh, that should be dead. Yep, yep, down throw up to him. As soon as you hit 165, you are dead to down throw. Bomb at the ledge, covering Toon Link's recovery options. Now Link is the one making it. Ooh! Lands on his own bomb, sending him straight up. Yep, C4. Toon Link takes game four. C4 blowing up Snake. And that is 2-2, two, two, going to game five in winner's finals. Oh my god. <laughs> Good. Looks like the reverse sweep is definitely online for Toon Link. It looks like he's definitely finally adapted to all these placements, like making sure that Snake cannot just keep trading all these grenades because he's going to take the stock first. Yeah, C4 is the real important thing to pay attention to in this matchup. You have to know where the C4 is and be able to play around it. If there was a correct song to pick, that is it. It is an absolute banger as the kids say. <laughs> but anyways, uh, getting into game five here. We got some nice uh, short hopping around, trying to set up these grenades. I think just keeping on that offensive. The APM on the snake is pretty crazy. Just lands with the shield. Snake taking 50% here, mostly from his own grenades. Snake now is almost in kill percent for Link. Trying to space that back here. Saves himself with the bomb from getting grabbed there. C4 not quite gonna take the stock. Ooh. Good combo from Snake, just trying to enter back with some more percentage. Down throw, into the bomb, and Ooh. finds the up air off the bomb. Very good conversion. Good combo from Snake, just trying to answer that. Both bombs low up. Looks like both of those shields are really low. No, just Snake. Yep, Snake will have time to recover that shield at this point, though. Snake definitely has a pretty big advantage in this, especially if Toonlink's not able to like, get the kill here. Yeah, whenever Snake is a stock up, it's very difficult to approach without taking damage. And it's just free extra credit for his next stock. Trying to find a way to deal with that Cypher recovery. It's definitely difficult in this matchup. Back throw into the bomb and closes it out with a Nikita. Was that a teabag I just saw? And the up smash coming in from Painful. This game is just going to be a, an uphill battle for Young Link here. Goes for uh, the back throw forward air. We've seen it a couple times today. Not gonna find it though. Painful not falling for that trick. Painful might just be dead here. It's definitely a tough situation. You've got a lot of work to do. At 75% against Snake, there's not a lot you can deal with getting hit by. 
And he gets taken out by his own bomb, it looked like. That was the C4 activation from Snake. Ooh. Closing that one out. Three, two, four, Venom. Pain was, Pain was almost able to answer back, but that last game, it definitely looked like Snake just came online. Yeah, the reverse sweep was definitely started up, but Venom able to stop that momentum. And we should be moving on to losers' finals. I, all I'm saying, that was definitely a music bit. Cynthia's theme. Hello? Oh, cool. So. Okay. So Venom has secured their spot into the grand final. Now we're on to loser's final between Painful Legend and Vendever X. So, technically, Painful Legend could come back to fight Venom in the grand fini final if Vendever X loses, but this is anyone's match at this point. So, yeah. Also, Jeffrey, I'm keeping this mic on me now. Enderman. All right, and we are hopping right back into it. We've got Endeavor X versus Painful in Losers Finals. Whoever wins this plays against the Grand Finals. Nice landing forward air there. Toon Link just kind of getting in right now, swinging the sword. Up B is a kill option for Toon Link instead of a combo option like it is for Young Link. Up tilt into up air. Endeavor at 100% now. Toon Link going to be looking for a kill confirm with this bomb, but a good catch from Endeavor. Finding that up air anyways, though, taking that first stock. Gonna try to destroy the crafting table here. But it doesn't matter because Enderman can just make another one. Has to get off the ledge against his own bomb here, but manages to just pick it up. Good parry on the minecart. Endeavor X struggling to figure out how to close out this stock right now. Gonna set up a ledge trap. Nice get up attack. B reverse side B, but that up smash is going to close out that stock for Endeavor. And Endeavor does have a diamond online, but no weapon currently. There's the sword. Gonna go ahead and make a diamond item set here. Minecraft Steve. That's what's happening. Enderman. <laughs> Another diamond for Steve. It's when his tools break. Or, di or he dies, he'll be able to make another one. Yep, that is a uh, diamond for last stock as well as this stock at this point. And setting up for the ledge trap. Not going to find the F smash, though. No iron to land with that anvil there. And an up smash from Toon Link. Not quite going to close out the stock, though. Who goes for an up smash there. Not quite going to find it. And the back air going to close out that stock. Still anyone's game here, because Link is so high percentage. Yep, this uh, diamond tool will definitely close out this stock with whatever hits next. Yep. And now we're going to see if we can get a big combo from Endeavor X to bring him back into this game. Steve is very capable of those. Except that one that's banned. There's no banned combos. <laughs> there actually is. You guys have banned combos? That's not a combo, that's just the tag. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and there's the up smash. Not able to combo out of it though. Ooh. Up smash, down smash. Looking for the minecart. A few more hits def definitely just kills Link here. Goes for the spike with a forward air, but the bomb into forward air combo. 
Nice kill confirmed from Painful. Definitely a close match, though. If he just Minecraft a little bit harder, he could have won. Reichman in game two, it looks like uh, we're still gonna have the Enderman. Enderman! Steve! Enderman! Enderman! All right. Running it right back. Got Endeavor up 1 0 against the Painful Three, right now. Two, one, go! Or, sorry, the other way around. Painful is up 1 0 against Endeavor. And vomiting both people. Landing there actually gets both hits on shield. Good chain combo from Toon Link. Up tilt, back air. Painful building up that percentage pretty quick here. Steve has to get pain, uh, Painful off stage here so, so he can mine and get better tools. Bomb goes for the combo, but was a little late on the confirm. A lot of these wave bounce side bees coming out. Good movement from Painful. Up tilt, up air, not gonna close out the stock. Back air, more of a combo tool. Not gonna be able to kill just yet. Steve going for that spike. Almost gets it too. A diamond for Steve. Finding with his fist now, just taking the little bit before his stock closes out. Getting his diamonds immediately just to make it a lot easier for him to crack up this percentage. Nice air dodge reads coming out from Painful right now. Woo! And a good F smash coming out from Endeavor, not gonna close out the stock. Almost hits him with that uh, down air. Up smash, not gonna catch painful. Painful just trying to zone and rack up this percentage. Ooh, the minecart comes and taking painful out. Strong option for Steve in many, many situations. And there's the command grab part of it. We haven't seen that yet, I don't think. We saw it a couple times last match, but he was able to just not die to it. And there's the forward air. Goes for the up smash follow up, but not gonna find it. Ooh, good down smash. That almost killed at such a low percentage. Steve. Goes for the bomb into up air, but not going to find it. Aiden also has a diamond, so even next life, if he loses the stock, he'll still have diamonds. Mining with his fist now. Ooh, able to take out Toon Link and mine some more, trying to get more. Just mining with his fists now. Another minecart kill. No iron on Steve right now. Doesn't have access to the anvil right now. There's the iron and immediately uses it for a minecart. Good combo coming in from Steve. Just no anvil, so he just can't do the fastball. Good up smash. Link is almost dead here. Yeah, 80% against diamonds is not somewhere you want to be. That back air actually hit. Oh, oh my, my goodness. <laughs> he was below him. That is the power of Steve, and that is 1 1. Steve. I just I, I don't know what to say. It's just he he mined diamonds and won. Switch coming in from Painful here. Swapping over to the Captain Falcon. I was talking about this earlier. He said he was going to switch to the Captain Falcon because he knows he can get out of some of the, these moves. Yeah, Falcon much more of a rushdown character, allowing Painful to actually go in against Steve and not give him time to mine. Good combo, but Painful is able to get out of it. Landing back air into dash deck. Goes for the follow-up with the up air. 
Now coming in, missing a lot of these attacks from Steve. Ooh, the down B. Back air putting Enderman off stage here. Just trying to space with the back air, but a good parry from Endeavor. The anvil didn't see it coming. There's the up smash. Painful just needs to keep playing this aggression because he's he's losing in these sustained. Ooh, up the out of shield, snagging Endeavor off of the anvil there. It has a lot of horizontal range. I definitely think he thinks the uh, attacks are gonna like make like make them go up. That's why he keeps up smashing after. But I think it's making him rack up a lot more percentage on tour. Yeah, the up smash does linger a long time for Endeavor. Goes for the spike there, but not quite able to find it. These side bees from Painful right now are putting in some work. Steve is trying to get these diamonds. Goes for a landing up air, but a little bit too high. Jumps into the command grab, and that's going to be a free up smash for Steve. Steve is trying to mine to try and get some of these. Oh, there's a diamond for Steve. And probably not going to use it this stock due to the percentage, but definitely for next stock. Good up smash, uh, dodge from the uh, up. Yep, the up, the out of shield. Not able to find the grab, but no punish from Steve. Steve has a good combo here. He doesn't even have diamonds. Yep, Steve uh, always has great combos. That's just how the character works, but a good up e taking that stock. Diamonds for Endeavor just probably going to be able to maybe close out the stock, maybe win uh, the next one too. Yep, looking to close out this stock with one or two hits and then rack up the damage very quickly with these diamond tools. Painful trying to space with the back Ooh, air again. Good down smash. Yeah, runs into the anvil. And there is a 50, 70% combo, but the side B is going to spike. Oh! That is tilting. Yeah, that is tilting. That side B is a little bit tricky sometimes, and it's actually going to spike Steve out of the minecart and take that stop. Steve almost won that too. Yep, painful up 2-1 now. All of these games have been very, very close. I'm pretty sure we're going to see up the Captain Falcon. Yep, why, why fix it if it ain't broken, right? Well, it is broken, but we're talking about Minecraft Steve here. Three, two, one, go! Anyways, we're going right back in, rushing in as Captain Falcon does. This character does not like to go slow. Good reset with the side B, but it just doesn't connect sometimes. Nice oh. spike, up tilt. Catching the minecart recovery. Painful's definitely just trying to keep Steve from being able to do, you know, Steve things. You should have got the fucking punch there. Come on. Up B punish on the up smash twice now. Give us one. That's what I want to see. Command grab. Spike, Spike. out of. Oh, up smash. <gasps> Very tense right there. Goes for a landing down air. Trying to get a down air into Nico. Oh, the TNT blows up. I thought it was gonna kill. Yeah. Not quite gonna kill at this percentage. Diamond for Steve. Probably for next stock. The minecart almost carrying Painful to their death immediately, but able to mash out just in time. I don't know why Painful didn't go for the anvil there. He definitely had the iron. Almost gets a spike. Nice Ooh. back air, catching the up B from Painful. Good shield to dodge the minecart, but then gets comboed right out of it with Minecraft Steve. That was a very smart play from Endeavor, trying to get the side B to actually kill Falcon there, but... Up B not quite gonna kill. Up smash definitely will, though. Steve gonna use his diamonds now, just trying to maybe try and take this back. He is two stocks down, or one stock down. Yep, last stock diamond is definitely powerful though. It only takes two, three hits. That's three hits. Three hits, yep. <laughs> and now we see how many it takes to potentially close out this last stock. If Painful wins, then that is the set. 
Up air, up air, knee. No, goes for the up B instead. Ooh. Great combos from Falcon. I don't know if I said that, but I did not say that. Goes for the forward air spike. Covers the Two air more dodge. hits and Steve kills. Down Ooh. air to knee. Nice kill confirmed Painful takes from the set. Painful. Going back to do the rematch from winner's finals. Painful able to run it back 3-1 against Endeavor and bring it back to grand finals for the rematch. Are we going to see this Falcon? Or are we going to see the Toon Link again? We shall see. Venom versus Painful in grand finals. Venom on winner's side. Painful will have to win two sets to win the tournament. But he's using the wrong Falcon skins. That's why I'm not rooting for him. He has to use the gold one or the pink. There's two options, and he picked neither. The cash money Falcon. Or the e-girl gamer setup Falcon. All right, we are getting into the winner, uh, the grand finals, which is the same as our winner's finals, which is Painful versus Venom. I, I will remind uh, our top six to stick around because we do have prizes to give out after this match is over. Snake coming in from Venom. Going back to the Toon Link. Doesn't want to try to run in with Falcon. Knows it can be dangerous to run in against Snake all the time. The, uh the pleasant taunts from both players at the start of the game, respectfully. This, this is it. There is no loser's bracket for uh, Venom here, so they will still have to win this one, or Toon Link can come back. That's why I like double elimination over single. That might get to play more. Nice movement coming out from Venom here, running around with these bombs. Nice B reverse to force Toon Link to hit the bomb on shield. Except the bomb throws it right at the back of Toon Link. And yeah, just uh, a lot of this zoning that we saw the last time we watched these two play. The C4 actually catching the jump from Painful there. Ooh, Boomerang brings the grenade right on top of the Venom. Both players are in kill percentage for uh, both of them. And it looks like it's no, not Toon Link yet. Nice down air out of shield. Oh, it is Toon Link. Rolls into the up smash, gets caught out. Snake just trying to rack up this percentage, just knows that they have the stock advantage so they can use that. Toon Link looking to find this down air spike at ledge, catching Snake air dodging to ledge. Snake throwing the grenade to stop the bomb from hitting them. Parry. Good, good attempt at the down air again, but not quite able to find it. There's the forward air to close out that stock. Snake still can almost kill Toon Link here, so it's definitely still painful. It's still at a big disadvantage here. Yeah, up tilt will probably close out the stock here soon. C4 at the center of stage catches painful killing right away. That'll do it too. And we see another C4 set up on that platform. Gotta be careful of that. Painful catching Snake jumping out of the shield. C4 blows up so Link can... Oh, another one's placed, though. Always a C4 on stage. That is the Snake gameplay. F Smash going for a massive read, but not going to find it. Snake misses the grab, and Toon Link capitalizes with the up beat. Definitely a hill to climb for Painful right here. Oh, the grenade blows up. Just keep it. Snake just recovering all the way to the top of stage, just trying to, you know, zone out. Finley. C4 set back up on the platform once again. 
Painful doing a good job of realizing what the C4s are, knowing that he can't match it, so he's just got to keep his distance and throw his projectiles. Venom just Tune juggling it. the C4 on the platform. Toon Link with a great response. 120% is definitely very high against Snake. He has a lot of kill options at this point. Back throw. Starting to build up that percentage, though. Good parry. Painful needs to play safe, but it is not unwinnable by Painful any gets means. Painful gets hit by both of, both of his bombs. Slowly racking up that percentage. Toon Link's projectiles just aren't as great as Snake's. For the purpose of damage, at least. Snake getting hit by a human grenade. That's 90% on Snake. Definitely kill range for Toon Link here. Ooh, me. Nikita back to the stage, but not going to close it out. Down Ooh. throw into up tilt. Going to take that stock, though. 1 0 for Venom. We've seen that from Venom this entire time the up throw into down, or down throw into up tilt. Yeah, it's a great kill confirm for Snake. Up Which tilt kills very early, and down tilt is a great setup. Looks like we're seeing no stage change here. And no character change. Just going right back into it, running it back. Three, two, one. Starting off here on Small Battlefield once again. Venom going right in this time. Goes for the forward air, trying to close out the stock extremely early. Very aggressive from Venom. I don't know if I've seen that much of it or aggression from Venom. It's rare. It's usually once a set that uh, Venom likes to go in for that early forward air, just see if they can catch somebody. Ooh, good parry blocking the grenade and good. Yeah, the F tilt for sure. High recovery from Painful here, catching Venom. F smash, read on the roll, but just a bit slow. Definitely would have killed, though. F-Smash kills extremely early. Toon Link just trying to poke out with all these uh, projectiles, just trying to rack the percentage up because he knows he's at a very big disadvantage here. Ooh, no punish on the up B. Nice up back, air. Oh, back air. Tries to down air through the Cypher, but it doesn't Ooh. connect. Up B just racking up this percentage. This Toon Link can definitely take the stock here. Yeah, both characters at 100 plus percent. Going deep with the Nikita, but a great low recovery from Painful. Frame trap with the up air. That's scooped. Yeah. Trying to get in over this platform with the C4 on it. Up tilt, closing out that stock. Ooh. Toon Link has a small advantage, but he's going to try and rack up this percentage while he does still have it. Good up throw. Gets hit by the grenade. Goes for the reset. Ooh, Bomb just trying to keep Snake from... Goes for landing. a double jab tech chase, but not able to find it. Good shield into up the... Painful is turning up right now. Almost tracks Painful with the Bomb. With the There's the shield break, and that will 100% kill. <laughs> Toon Link still does have this minor advantage, even if it's small, it is definitely something he can use against the Snake. Yeah. Snake's taking a lot of shield damage from his own grenades. Yeah, I Snake's shield is very dangerous sometimes. Tried to read the roll, but he just jumps. Good forward tilt from Painful. Closes out the stall. Painful is up right now. Painful just trying to keep this advantage going. He's in a way better spot than he was last stock. Looking like another Good back and forth set here. The grenade blows up. 74% on painful. Grenade taking Snake shield pretty low. If the shield breaks, I'm pretty sure Snake just dies. Yeah, Venom gonna be looking for a way to close out this stock. That up smash almost doing it. That up smash also almost doing it. And that one misses. Gonna be looking for an up tilt here potentially, or F tilt. Good! Uh, up B. Yep, I'll be out of shield, punishing that F-tilt. Try to read the jump. Ooh, that could have been the stock for Venom. 
Doesn't want to commit, but finds the up tilt anyways. Venom still has a, or not Venom, uh, Painful has a big advantage and is now his uh, Snake is in kill percentage. Snake just going to try and zone, throw these grenades, and just try and keep Painful at a distance. Yep, still three and a half minutes on the clock. Goes for the forward air, finds it, but not the spike hitbox. That definitely would have been an early kill and bring the game back for Venom. Snake definitely has to play a little bit smarter here because any miss move could kill him. Yeah, playing Snake is dangerous because you do always run the risk of just blowing yourself up. Up smash saving Snake there. The grenade hits Toon Link. Goes, Link die. goes for the read with the up B into up air. Both players at kill percentage now. Snake doing an excellent job of just zoning out. Down tilt oh. reads the roll with the up tilt on the down throw. Great comeback from Venom there. Yeah. Venom was at a disadvantage the entire time, and that last stock really just came alive and demolished Toon Link. I believe that's 2-1 now. 2-0. Or 2-0. Right. I assumed that uh, Painful already won that game, but... 2-0 yeah. for Venom here. Gonna see if Painful can get the reverse sweep once again against Venom. Definitely gonna try, he was able to almost last time. Came very close, but not quite able to close it out last time. Let's see if he can close it out this time. Dash attacking through that tether grab right off the bat there. Down airs out of shield. Snake getting just a little early advantage. Every advantage for Snake is so hard to come back from. So difficult to approach this character. Runs off stage, air dodges almost SDs, but manages to make it back. Running around with these dash attacks, painful punishes with an up B out of shield. Excellent forward air, cashing Venom on that platform. Just juggling Snake right now and has evened up the game just like that. Goes for the grab on the neutral get up. The Not able almost, to find it. The bomb almost hits, but Snake's uh, up he just sends him right barely over it. Good dash away from the grenade by Baneful there. Ooh, the C4 hits him from under though. Both players are in kill percentage for each other. Back throw. Throwing the bomb up. Just trying to... Ooh, it hits. Back throw is a good kill throw for Toon Link, but Snake is heavy enough that it's not quite going to kill yet. Definitely a close match here already. Yep, both players trying to find a way to close out these stocks once again. And Painful does it with a back air. That Nair almost kills for her Venom, though. Snake almost answers right back. Oh, the Nikita falls and then the up smash yep. kills. Down throw in holding in place for the up smash once again. A Venom classic. That down air putting in work right now. Hitting the small character that is Toon Link. Toon Link is definitely in a very bad spot here. He's down percentage, and Snake's just being able to match the aggression. Good up B, though. Yep, now has stage control, but has to deal with the high recovery from Snake, which Toon Link just isn't fast enough to do. Was that C4? Yep, that was C4. Off stage against Toon Link once again. Goes for the down air. Hasn't been able to find that one yet, though. And the F-Tilt closing out that stock. This is potentially the last stock for Painful. Snake just, uh, Venom just trying to keep this aggression on because it's been working so far this game. Cooked that grenade before throwing it. Has a read on the jump to the platform, but Snake hitting themselves with the grenade and then F. Going high, trying to set up these grenades and land safely. Snake forced to cancel their shield and take the damage or the shield would break and they instantly lose their stock here. Good up air. Closing out that stock. The C4 is there, just zoning Toon Link off on that entire side. 
Yeah, the stage control that Snake has with C4 is so oppressive sometimes. It's also with the time it takes the grenades to blow up, it's very hard for Toon Link to... Toon Link is very just like kept in this very small spot on the stage. Yep, good little combo from Toon Link here though. Grenading both of them. Painful starting to bring it back, but has to be very careful here. Can't afford to get hit by any of these straight kill moves. Ooh, and the Nikita gets it. Yeah, nice circle around with the Nikita, closing it out. That Venom is wins grand finals 3 0. Winner's side, Venom takes the tournament. Congratulations to Venom. I just want to say thank you very much. Thank you to Jeffrey and to Tristan. Uh, Jacob had to go home. He wasn't feeling well on their first tournament. I stepped back, let them run it. Nice job, you guys. Thank you to you guys for sticking around and playing. Now we're going to turn it over to Tristan. Some of you uh, top players, we're going to need your contact information to get shirt sizes, also to get your Walter Day card, and to send your gift card to. But here with your prizes, Tristan. You get a choice at a Mega Retron HD, which supports Mega Drive games and Genesis games, a, or a Retron 1 AV, which supports Nintendo uh, NES games. Which one? I'll take the NES one. NES one. Cool. Painful Legend. Second place. Yay. Painful gets the second choice of retro console. So painful, would you like a Sega Genesis and Master System or a NES? A NES, all right. Third place. Third place gets a Master Genesis. Just Endeavor X. Yay! Fourth place, Mr. Turtle. Yay! Ray Ray, fifth place. Yay! And finally, for winning the loser bracket, Vendever X. Thank you all for coming. We had some pretty great help backstage, especially Dallas. Can we have a round of applause for Dallas? He came down from college just to shout cast, and that's pretty cool because. I don't know, not many, not many of us shout cast like he does. He actually knows the game. And Mr. G, round of applause for Mr. G for being the head guy. Thank you, Mr. G. Thanks for coming. This actually went fairly well, so look for some other tournaments that we may putting on, be putting on here. Um, watch for the Walter Day ceremony and tournament next February. And thank you for coming.